Okay, next we want to talk about is the procedure for constructing a frequency distribution. Now we construct a frequency distribution so that one large data set can be summarized. Two, we can analyze the nature of the data. And three, we have a basis for constructing graphs such as histograms introduced in the next section. Although technology allows us to automatically generate frequency distributions, the steps for manually constructing them are as follows. Number one, first, we want to be able to determine the number of classes. The number of classes should be between 5 and 20, and the number you select might be affected by the convenience of using round numbers. Number two, you want to calculate the class width. The formula for the class width is the following. It's going to equal the maximum data value minus the minimum data value divided by the number of classes. Then once you get that number, you would round it, this result, to a convenient number. It is usually best to round up. Using a specific number of classes is not too important, and it's usually wise to change the number of class so that they use convenience values for the class limits. Number three, choose the value for the first lower class limit by using either the minimum value or a convenient value below the minimum. Number four, using the lo first lower class limit and the class width list the other lower class limits. You do this by adding the class width to the first lower class limit to get the second lower class limit. Then you add the class width to the second lower class limit to get the third lower class limit, and so on. Number five, you're going to list the lower class limits in a vertical column and then enter the upper class limits. Number six, you're going to take each individual data value and put a tally mark in the appropriate class. Add the tally marks to find the total frequency for each class. Now, when constructing a frequency distribution, be sure the classes do not overlap. Each of the original values must belong to exactly one class. Include all classes, even those with a frequency of zero. Try to use the same width for all classes, although it is sometimes impossible to avoid open-ended intervals such as 65 years or older.